Hi everybody, Roshi here with a gameplay of Nitronic Rush. This is like an indie game that I found. Um, I guess it was a student's project for college. But I uh, saw this on a website called Imager, actually. There was a collection of indie games and I decided I'd go through and give them a try. Now they said this isn't a racing game like other racing games, so I'm not exactly sure what that means. I haven't really looked at it too well. But uh, let's see, old levels. I'll try the story levels, I don't know what that means. Replay the story levels with the ghost guys, I'm sure. Oh, and okay, apparently you can play online. Um, I'm not going to be playing online, but it's pretty interesting, regardless. I guess we're going to have the tutorial here. And I am using an Xbox controller for, uh, well, let's see. Press back to reset to the checkpoint. Okay. LT for break and reverse. Oof. Whoops. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of next car games lately, so I was driving it like that. Hold A or left bumper to boost. This is too long to blow you up. Okay. Use M or type the best use me. Oh, okay. This is pretty trippy though. I like the uh, soundtrack's pretty groovy. The, uh, the visuals are pretty neat. You can see the, the background's very uh, minimalist, if you will. Oh, wait, press right bumper or X. Whoops. <laughs> or X, okay. Oop. Oh, crap. Uh, ah. Crap, I'm going off the track, aren't I? Yep. Oh, <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Dang it, apparently. But yeah, like I was saying, the, uh... Oh, press B to fly. Ooh. What? What? <laughs> they were kidding when they said this is a racing game like no other. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, we gotta go back. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. Press B to fly. Okay. Ah, it's got the little meter down there. Okay. Oh, that's... <laughs> Definitely interesting. Do a barrel roll. Whee! Oh. <laughs> awesome! Checkpoint. Do a backflip. Okay. Oh, crap. Whoop. There we go. Nailed it. Okay. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, I'll take it. Sorry, I haven't been talking too much. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this is pretty interesting. I was expecting it just to be, like, a regular Rage game. And actually, with, like, you know, keep saying Rush, I was thinking, kind of thinking of that old arcade game. But, uh, this is pretty cool. This would actually, I think, be quite good as an arcade game. I mean, some of the mechanics would be a little bit much, I think. But, uh, this is really cool. And this is free, by the way. Um... I think they have a direct download and a torrent link, something like that. I did the torrent link. I downloaded the game in maybe 30 seconds. It's like a couple hundred megabytes. It's not too bad. But it's uh, really fun. And I mean, I've had no problems with it. Setting up the uh, the options was very smooth. Um, I'm actually going to look up and see if this guy's created anything like any other games, because uh, this is really fun. I mean, if this is just a student, like, I've played other indie games where, like, you know, there's a team, and, you know, I mean, you, know, you, you have your personal taste, I guess, but, uh, you know, sometimes you just play the game and you're like, yeah, I'm not really enjoying this too much. This? This is really fun. I'm actually going to give this game some, uh, some quality time <laughs> uh, to play it. Oh, like I was saying earlier, like, the visuals are really cool. Still alive. Can't help but thinking that I'm going through a portal. And her name, D A N. Huh. Interesting. Okay. We'll continue, I guess. Oh. I wonder if it's going to be the same map. Deep into the void. I don't think we played that one. But yeah, this is really cool. And like I said, it's free. I'm using an Xbox controller and I'm playing on my TV actually right now. Um, that's why we're. You're probably currently watching in 1080p, and if you're not, then you should be, unless your computer can't handle it. 
But the background is very Tronish to me. That was the, the, the first thing that I thought of. Like, I, I don't think it's trying to copy it or anything like that, but the style is very, very cool. Oh, yeah, almost forgot the jump button. <laughs> but, uh... I don't know what else I can say about the game. Um, but I'm going to be trying to play some of these indie games. Back and forth here. Oh, hit the wrong button. <laughs> going to be trying to play some of these indie games. Wow! <laughs> like, tragic, really. It is kind of uh, goofy with like some of the voiceovers. That's why I, I, I feel like this is this really feels like an arcade game. Like, I, I don't know if, uh, if this guy ended up working for a certain company or anything like that, but... It's quite fun. Oh, oh, oh. Keep hitting the wrong buttons. <laughs> Found the boost. And like I said, you know, I, I think for like a lot of indie games, like where they usually lack, at least in my opinion, is like the the ambience and like the music. And I mean, this has like that you know neat little like techno groove, and it, it uh, definitely fits with the uh, the uh, the scenery here. Oh, oh, I better not do that anymore. I wasn't watching my meter. And apparently I got Facebook open because it was just like, Mur! so sorry about that. This is really, really cool. Okay, and since we just finished here, I'm gonna go ahead and end the, uh, the video here. Thanks for watching, guys. Once again, this, I, I think it was called Nitrogenic, something like that. I'll, I'll have it in the description, uh, a link to the, to the game. And like I said, I'm running in uh, 1920 by 1080. I'm getting like a, well, right now I have it logged to 60 frames, but it hasn't dropped below that. Run, runs quite nice. Um, I have a Logitech controller, you know, Xbox 360 controller, pretty similar. You know, it's very, very fun. Once again, guys, this has been Roshi. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys again next time.